Hello everyone and welcome to my second video of this week. What? <laughs> two videos on two days in a row. Uh, no, I'm not overproductive and eager to pump out daily content from now on. I just didn't want to upload another 25 plus minutes video no one would watch till the end because I have news for you that I wanted you to hear. I updated my Etsy shop, woohoo! And I'm not done with it, but since Sunday is my regular YouTube day, I thought I would announce it right away. So there are more products coming next week, but yeah, that's what is up until today. <laughs> so what's new? If you've seen yesterday's paint with me video, you already got a glimpse, but today I'm giving you a bit more detail. Last year, my husband asked me for a hand painted slash handcrafted bookmark for Christmas. He loves waterscapes and I love painting them. So I delivered. <laughs> I painted the first version of a river of rock, river rocks. Wow. River of rock, river rocks. That's it. And I took the original painting and made it into a sturdy bookmark with an elastic attached to it. Well, I ended up making, I guess, seven or eight more of these and gave them to my loved ones for Christmas, all in different designs. They really liked them and I figured that they would make a great product once I opened my Etsy shop. Since I used the original paintings for my prototypes, I had to repaint the designs changed some here and there and then got prints of them and this was all in april so the footage that you saw yesterday in the video is footage from april <laughs> oh boy. a lot happened in between okay so now in november my sister charlotte slowly became a pain in my neck because she wanted some of these bookmarks to give away for christmas and yeah was pretty much desperate for them i finally took the time and i'm doing air quotes right now <laughs> mass manufactured these yeah you know not really but it took some days to finish this batch let me elaborate a little more on the process I used the pattern I came up with last year for my prototypes, transferred it to the art prints and cut it out. Then I cut out the inner, like the, the cardboard thing that I glue the art print around, uh, using this huge bookbinder cardboard sheet. This was so hard to manage with the little space I got here. Also, it is a real pain in the butt to cut because it's so freaking thick. <laughs> Funny though that I plan to make 12 bookmarks for each of the seven designs, 84 in total, and one of these huge cardboard sheets fitted almost exactly 84 rectangles in the size I needed. I mean, <laughs> perfect planning, right? In the past I used standard liquid crafting glue for these and held everything together with clamps. It worked fine, like for a small amount of bookmarks, 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 but for as many as I had planned to do, I needed a different technique. I came across what is called bookbinder glue, a liquid adhesive especially made for <laughs> bookbinding, obviously. But what makes it different is A, it's strong as heck and B, it doesn't wet the paper as much as other glue does. To solve the clamp situation, let me say it like this. I am very lucky to have not only a very crafty father, but also a very crafty father-in-law who is a champ at realizing the weirdest requests. He built a wooden press solely for the purpose of crafting bookmarks for me. <laughs> so this piece of absolute bliss can fit four bookmarks at once and presses them secure while I can work on sticking the next four together. No clamp marks whatsoever. For the eyelet I used metal grommets I got in the hardware store and to put them in I had to go in the basement because I didn't want to disturb our neighbors too much. Last thing to do was to attach the elastic. 
practical for people who carry their books around a lot. It won't slip out and it helps your book closed. Or a ribbon, which simply sticks out between the pages and just looks pretty, I guess. I prefer mine with an elastic. Yeah, and here they are, my beautiful waterscape bookmarks, which you can get now in my Etsy shop. You can choose between the elastic and the ribbon and I will make it to your order. Oh, and there are also postcards with the waterscape designs as well. I hope you like them. Tell your bookworm friends, tell your mom and tell your goldfish. I don't know. See you next week. Bye. Link to my shop is in the description box down below.